Hello everyone, this is a promotional video for our work, Graph Skeleton, a near 1% nodes are sufficient to represent a brain scale graph. My name is Lin Feng Tao, and I'm currently a PhD student at the Ohio State University. This is a joint work done during my internship at Zhejiang University, supervised by Professor Yang Yang. Node classification task is essential in graph mining. The mainstream paradigm for this task is to deploy the graph models on the original whole graphs. However, in practice, deploying models on large graphs is very expensive. And in most of the real applications, only a very small proportion of nodes in the graph actually require to be analyzed. In this case, we term the nodes we want to classify as the target nodes, while the rest of the nodes as the background nodes. Intuitively, it is not economical to, to deploy the graph model on massive data just for a small number of node classification. A proper method to compress the background nodes from massive data might be a shortcut. However, background nodes can play diverse roles in target node classification, but we know little about that. And there is a trade-off between the compression rate and the information integrity. In this case, we raised two questions. Are background nodes necessary for target node classification? And what roles do they play in the task? To answer these questions, we conduct empirical analysis. The results show that most of the background nodes are redundant, but nodes neighboring to the target nodes are important to the target node classification. And the background nodes contribute to the target nodes classification primarily in two ways. The first is enhancing the connectivity between the target nodes as the bridging nodes. And the second is neighboring to one target node, but highly correlated with the target features as the affiliation node. Based on these insights, we propose the graph skeleton. It first fetches the essential background nodes under the guidance of structural connectivity and feature correlation. Then we develop three different con condensation strategies to reduce the information redundancy of the background nodes. The generated skeleton graph is highly informative and friendly for storage and graph model deployment. We conduct downstream target classification tasks based on the compressed graphs from multiple datasets. The results show that um, the graph skeleton achieves superior compression performance against other baselines with a very close result to the original graphs. And it also presents very strong ability of scaling up the GNs on the very large graph scales. And for example, on the MAG 240 million dataset, our method yields less than 1.5% decline, but with only near 1% nodes of the original graph. That's all the video. Thanks for watching.